Hello, I'm Brian Pearson, Managing Editor of the Tyler Morton Telegraph, and this is uh, Christine Gardner, America's number one food editor. And she's uh, brought a lot of stuff today. Yeah, I did. I brought a few things. Um, this week in the flavor section, we're talking about making your own pasta. Okay, cool. You want to try? Well, and I see you have some A&M colored pasta oh, you know, here, I so we're even, off to a good start here. I didn't even here. think that it was A&M colors. We both went great. to A&M. So. <laughs> I'll have to make a bigger batch. The, this I made this color by adding a little bit of mashed up beets. Mm -hmm. And then these ones here are actually lemon flavored, mm -hmm. a little bit of lemon and pepper, so lemon pepper pasta. That's awesome. Yeah. And so what are we going to do with these? So I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your own dough. And then you don't have to have a pasta machine or anything to roll it out. You can roll it out by hand and it's, it's like a fun thing you can do with the kids and the family or have the girlfriends over. You, lots kids of are wine. allowed to play with something like this? Well, yeah. <laughs> you might have flour everywhere, but okay. that's okay. All right, so the easiest way to do this is in your food processor. So put your flour in. This is okay. almost two cups of flour. And you've you've pre-put the flour in. I've pre-measured pre the flour. Okay. Yes. And then you're just going to turn it on. Easy enough. Okay. A little cloud of little flour going, going there. On there. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is just it's some like egg 70s and water. Seventies concert here. So that's just going to dribble in. Okay. And the processor's doing all the work for you. Is that just eggs or is there it's, something else? It's egg yolks and some water, and I kept the whites on two of them. Okay. And see, this starts to come together. Okay. And it will form, start to form a ball. And when it gets to that point, that's when you're going to take it out and you're going to do a little kneading on your own. Kind of violent in there. Yeah, you don't want to go too far. You might burn up the motor on your food processor. <laughs> it's forming okay. a ball. Yeah, there. That's there you pretty go. cool. And that's it. That's your dough. Okay. So then you're just going to get it out on your board here, and this is where the fun part is. And you can get the kids to do this. And I've done a lot of pasta the old-fashioned way, where you knead it. You forever. buy it at the store. No. Okay. It tastes so much better when you make it fresh. I mean, yeah, I do eat store-bought pasta all the time, but. This is fun to do every once in a while. And then you just knead it just a little bit. And you want it to be kind of a kind of a smooth texture, not very sticky. Mm -hmm. And then once you get it into a nice ball, knead it for just a couple minutes. You're going to let it rest for 30 minutes. And then you can roll it out thin and cut it into different shapes. Mm -hmm. You can cut it into circles and fill it with some cheese and make tortellini. Okay. I have a question. Um, I used to make pizza dough with a bread maker. Can you make pizza dough the same way here? You can make pizza dough the same way. Um, that's a little different because of the yeast and proofing the yeast and everything. Okay. But it's it's a very similar process. I actually think the pasta is a little bit easier. Okay. Yep. So and so, all right, do you add those at some point? Or you, those are the finished product. So this is the finished product. Okay. So what I did is I took this ball of dough, mm -hmm. rolled it out flat, very thin, with just my rolling pin. I didn't have a special pasta machine or anything like that. And then I cut it into squares. And then you take your squares of pasta and you lay them out. On, you can do this flat on your board or if you have a gnocchi board, that's how you get the nice little grooves in here. And where do you get such implements of culinary <laughs> destruction here? This came from Sweet Gourmet. Okay. It's a gnocchi board for rolling the gnocchi potato dumplings and this is just a dowel from keep me from Lowe's. sticking my feet <laughs> from, from, <yeah. laughs> so or you could you know I, I've even taken wooden spoons and broken the handles off okay so you take your you get your square of pasta and you just roll it with your dowel and then you have these and then you just let them dry out and you can boil them so how long did it take you to make this bag of pasta not too long, and if you have a couple of extra people with you, I mean, it's once you start rolling them, they just come together, and then you let them dry just a little, and you can boil them right away and eat them. Okay. Anything else coming in the page tomorrow? Well, we have fresh ideas, and I do, I'm doing a very nice grilled salmon. Okay. I think we have a picture of that that we'll show everybody. And then it's uh, basted with balsamic vinegar and honey. Okay. So it's simple, easy, and you can start grilling because the weather's been so nice. Well, you gave me an assignment last week, and, and one was to make this uh, Guinness-cured Irish salmon, yeah. but when I looked at it, I felt 
rather intimidated, and, and then the Guinness chocolate mousse. Mm -hmm. um, I did, in fact, get some Guinness and drink some Guinness over the uh, St. Patrick's Day <laughs> holiday. And But you're supposed to cook with it, not just drink it. Well, I was cooking while I was uh, okay, drinking yeah. the Guinness, mm -hmm. and so that was good. And as for the salmon, um, I got a nice big piece of salmon and, and, and grilled it mm -hmm. and used a herb lemon marinade and some that salt and wonderful. pepper and just lightly grilled it, and it was really good. Yeah. So. It's a good time. It's it's. I'm I'm ready to grill every night. I love grilling. <laughs> so okay. So um, you think you might want to make some pasta next week? Yes, I will give that a shot. Okay. How about I give you this ball of dough? You guys, you can take it home and you guys can roll it out and have, have some fun. Can I have these things too? Yeah, I'll let you borrow. Then you have to go buy your own. Okay. Okay. That'll be it for this week. All right. Read the food section tomorrow.